France and China are two of the planet's gastronomic giants. At the start of the Chinese New Year of the Rabbit, the UNESCO headquarters in the French capital hosted a dinner. The Chinese ambassador toasted bilateral ties and using food as a bridge to connect cultures. We think that creating a link of friendship through food is the best way to bring the French and Chinese people even closer. Porcelain first emerged during the Shang dynasty in China more than 3,000 years ago. The global success of the fine traditions, both from China and more recently from France, was another cultural link being celebrated. We will never forget that porcelain was first created in China several thousand years ago. In Limoges, we started our tradition in the 18th century with the ingenuity of French decorative arts, with our style. We have a different perspective and a vision of porcelain, but naturally, we respect and admire everything that's been done and is being done in China. The world's most respected award for the best restaurants is arguably France's Michelin Guide, which hands out stars to the best kitchens. The Joël Rubichon Group has 29 Michelin stars among its restaurants. Its boss, Sophie Rubichon, is the daughter of the French chef Joël Rubichon, and she was a guest at the event. Some of the late chef's most famous recipes were served at the dinner, including this caviar jelly, one of two starters on the menu, and braised beef, which was one of the main courses. It's true with the magic of our two cuisines that allows us to have discussions, talk together to better understand each other. We can also discover cultures which often can inspire others, and that's what makes this gastronomic moment more special, that we can be here with joy and conviviality. The international stage can sometimes be the setting for political disagreements, but hosting a dinner can be less confrontational and a more delicious way of engaging with other countries. And the French chefs decided that the best way to celebrate the new year of the rabbit was to ensure that there were no bunnies on the menu. Siobhan McCall, CGTN.